Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a very different type of video, you guys. This is one of my favorite type of videos to watch on YouTube. I hope it is yours as well. Today I'm here to share my trash with you guys. Yes, I'm just kidding. I'm going to share with you guys my product empties. Products I have used up for almost two years now. I've been collecting these empties for almost two years you guys i think it's a little over a year and a half closer to two years and i've been meaning to film this video for the longest time you guys and i just didn't get around to it i had all these other videos in the pipeline and i am finally getting around to doing this i have skincare body care and hair care empties to share with you guys in this video my makeup empties I reserved for another time for a different video because otherwise we'll be here all day you guys. Actually even as it is, we might be here a while. So grab a coffee, grab a snack, I'm gonna grab my coffee, let's dig into my trash. Before we get into my product empties you guys, don't forget to take a minute to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and ring that notification bell so YouTube will notify you every time I upload so you don't miss any of these fun type of videos. You guys, it really helps me grow the community. If you don't subscribe, I can't grow the channel. I can't grow this community. For me to keep doing these great videos for you guys, I need to grow this community. It helps to grow the community for me to continue to do this for you guys. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, you guys. We have a lot of fun there. So let's dig right into my product empties so you guys let's start with my hair care products so I have my favorite brands when it comes to my hair care products when it comes to any of my products really you guys I'm really someone who's done a lot of research used a lot of products and narrowed down in on the products that I really love and trust and the products that work. I'm a product fiend, you guys. I have used so many products, it's not even funny. And when it comes to hair, I've used every hair care brand under the sun and I have narrowed in on two favorite brands when it comes to hair and I know they work. So the first brand is Brio Geo, you guys. And I have all these amazing shampoos and conditioners from Brio Geo. And my favorite hair mask, deep conditioning hair mask, is this one right here. It's Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Oh, you guys, this one is like, if my hair is the desert, this is rain, you know? It's like rain on a desert. This is supposed to be a hair mask that you use once or twice a week, but I use this as my everyday conditioner. I don't wash my hair more than twice a week because you're not supposed to wash your hair more than twice a week. I shower every day, twice a day. I'm one of those crazy people who shower in the morning when I wake up and at night before going to bed. I know I shouldn't dries out my skin, but I have to shower you guys, especially in the summertime. I gotta shower twice a day or I don't feel clean. I can't sleep dirty. Like I can't wake up and start the day dirty. So I end up showering twice. But when I wanna wash my hair, this is the product I use. So I end up actually using this product only once or twice a week as it says. So this is a hair mask deep conditioning hair mask that you put on your hair after you shampoo. You can put it on and leave it on for at least 10 minutes, if not more, and then rinse it off. But I gotta tell you guys, like I said, I use this as a, a conditioner. I don't ever end up leaving it on for 10 minutes because I don't really have the time. Life is so busy, you guys. So I end up just putting it on my hair and washing my body, and by the time I'm done washing, I would say about three minutes to five minutes after I put it on, I end up rinsing it off. But it doesn't matter, you guys, it still works. If you can, please keep this on for 10 minutes or longer for best results. It's a really rich, thick mask. You know what, I wish I had brought my uh, one that I have open in the shower right now to show you the 
consistency of it this is obviously an empty it's all gone it's very rich and very thick and it just really really nourishes your hair like separates them out it's like you know you find a starved person and you feed them and how happy they look afterwards that's what my hair looks like after using this product and it gives it a beautiful shine and it just makes it nice and heavy and thick and just luxurious do you want to know how many i have in my empties so this is the big daddy size, so this is the large size, and here is the small size of it. So this one, large size is 32 ounces, 946 mil, and the small size here is eight ounces, fluid ounces, and 236 mil. Do you wanna know how many I have in my empties in the almost last two years, almost two years? So here's one big daddy size, one, two, Three, four, then I have the small size of it. I'm pretty sure I had more than this, you guys. I might have thrown some out. Here's the sixth one, the small size. And then I have the shampoos, corresponding shampoo, the Don't Despair Repair Shampoo. This is really good as well, you guys. You can pair these two together. They have like different lines. There's the Don't Despair Repair line and then there's like a Be Kind, Be Gentle line. So all these different lines. This is the line that works best for my dry sort of coarse hair. If I don't treat it nice, it can be dry and coarse. This is the line that works best for me. So I have two of the shampoos here. And then I have this one right here. This is a scalp revival. It's charcoal and coconut oil uh, micro exfoliating shampoo. So it's a shampoo, but it's one that scrubs your scalp. Like it's a scalp treatment really well. I mean, this is minty fresh, you guys. It looks black, by the way. It looks basically like a charcoal shampoo. It's, it's kind of gray, blackish. And you just really, you know, work it into your scalp and you feel really clean. Your scalp feels really fresh and clean and minty fresh. You can tell there was some kind of buildup, you know, in on your scalp or hair. After using this, you feel kind of like a weight's been lifted. Like if there's any like mineral buildup or anything, I think this remo removes that. Really after using this, I can feel the difference. It, it's hard to put into words, you guys, it really works. All of these Brio products work really, really well. I am a huge, huge fan. And by the way, there are six free, I think like phthalate fees, free, sulfate free, paraben free, all those like six free. They're very uh, good for you, like shampoos and conditioners without any harsh chemicals or anything like that. And I also have their Be Gentle, Be Kind, Avocado, Kiwi Mega Moisturizing Superfood Mask as well here. This is another uh, conditioner that's like an avocado kiwi conditioner. Oh boy, there's water in here. This is another one that works really well. All Briogeo stuff works so well, you guys. Then I also have this uh, Briogeo from their Be Gentle, Be Kind line. The Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo and conditioner. I don't know what I did to the conditioner. I think I might have accidentally thrown away the empty bottle of the conditioner. So I bought the, the shampoo and the matching conditioner. The bottle looks exactly the same for the conditioner. I like them. They worked really well as well, but not as well as the Don't Despair Repair line. So for my hair, for my thick, you know, dry, can tend to be dry, kind of coarse hair, this is not the line that works the best. It's the Don't Despair Repair line. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good line as well. Just not for my hair. I think this might work better for like fine hair. And then my other favorite hair care line when it comes to keeping really well nourished, damage free, healthy hair. This is a must in my opinion. It is Olaplex, you guys. They actually have nine products now, I think. They number their products from zero to eight, and I have all of them. I have some in the 
the shower right now and extra products in my closet and these are the empties that I went through and I am pretty sure I had more than this but sometimes you guys my empties bucket gets kicked around and things fall out of it and when we clean we maybe throw some without realizing I'm pretty sure I had more than this but I have some in here so I have Olaplex number zero so this one is a intensive bond building hair treatment so this is like the first one so it's number zero so that's the first one you put so you put this one on dry hair before you shower you just put it with before you get in the shower you put this one like there's like usually a little spout I broke it so you just um, put it all over you know your hair you know you saturate it through to the tips of the hair and that kind of preps your hair for what you're going to put on next Olaplex number three this one is a bond builder you guys it, it literally repairs your hair I've talked about this product in my Sephora VIB sale hauls I will link them up here and down in the description box it repairs and strengthens all hair types it's a hair perfecter and it literally bonds the hair so if you have damaged hair dry damaged hair this is a a godsend so yeah this one you put on towel dried hair so usually i would you know wet my hair and like towel dry it and i would put this one on number three and i would leave it on for 10 minutes at the very least that's what it says to do but i tend to leave it on for about 30 minutes you guys because i really love this product so for this i take the time so i leave it on for about 30 minutes and i jump in the shower so when i use this one i tend to use all olaplex products not always sometimes i mix with the brio Gio, but i try to keep with the olaplex line so after this I, then i put number four which is, which is the shampoo and then rinse it off then number five which is the conditioner and then rinse that off so yeah this one is a, a bond builder so i have a a big size this is the 8.5 fluid ounce 20 250 mil and then i have a this is number three so this is also number three i have the smaller size this one is 100 mil 3.3 fluid ounce so i have yeah like i have two of the number three and then i have one of the number zero that i ran out and then i have number four and five so this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner i actually have the bigger size like this size up in my shower right now of the olaplex products so yeah i love these ones you guys this this hair care line is the bomb you will never have hair issues with these so there's another hair care line that i tend to use every now and then that i buy from the salon i go to this is a really good brand but you can only buy them in salon these are not if i'm correct i've looked for them before they're not available online to buy you have to buy them in the salons that carry these products use these products so it's kevin murphy you guys so i have like one two three four of these these are the conditioners this is smooth again rinse smoothing conditioner for thick coarse hair that's the conditioner so i have four of these that i went through so then i have two of the shampoos from kevin murphy it's plumping wash it's called a densifying shampoo for thinning hair i don't have thinning hair but these work really well so i have two of these and then i have another empty here this is unite seven seconds detangler oh my gosh my hair would get so tangled sometimes that i need to actually shower put conditioner in and brush through to get the tangles out so i got I was getting really tired of having tangled hair like if you if you don't brush every day like thoroughly you could get tangles so this is a detangler it works really well i went through a couple of these bottles i don't have the other bottle i don't know what i did to it so next i have some hair oils and hair serums and stuff so the first one i have here is brio Giro scalp revival charcoal tea tree scalp treatment so you guys know tea tree oil is really good for your scalp it um, invigorates the scalp keeps the scalp from getting dry skin and it keeps it basically nice and clean it revives the scalp and keeps the scalp healthy so yeah i used this one up you guys it's really good and there's like a little 
tingly sensation in it because of the tea tree oil I think really good uh, this is like a hair oil you put it on after washing your hair um, before styling your hair so it's also from the Bio Geo line and the other one that I really swear by is this hair serum you guys I have another one up in my room and I went through an entire bottle as you can see this is the Gisu honey infused hair oil it's more like a hair serum actually the consistency oh my gosh you guys does this work it really really does like whenever my hair is super brittle dry damaged I put some of this serum in my hair hair oil slash serum it's very very slippery like very thick very um yeah it's very like slippery kind of uh, hair serum I put it on and I go to bed leave it all night overnight and the next day my hair is just tangle free and luxurious and by the way like you have to shampoo a couple of times to get this off the hair because it's that thick it makes the hair really smooth I don't know how else to put it it really really works I really love this hair serum slash hair oil and you guys I know I had a couple of the Olaplex hair oil which also works super well. I don't know why I don't have those empties here. I know I went through a couple of bottles. I have a new one open in my, um, in my box up there. Yeah, number seven, the hair oil. Really love that one. And I had two empties, at least one empty. I can't find them, you guys. I don't know, it might've fallen out of the empties bucket. Okay, moving on to body washes and body scrubs. You know, body stuff. I have two favorite brands that I consistently use you guys you will see I'm a creature of habit and I stick to these two brands one of them is Sol de Janeiro you guys oh my god this smells so good by the way mmm so good this is so luxurious so this one is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana moisturizing body cream cleanser this one so this one smells like coconuts and uh, I don't know it smells like summer you guys it's so beautiful I have used up two of these puppies this one's missing the cap so yeah I've used up two full 13 fluid ounce 385 ml bottles went through them like water I know I had two more at least but somehow there's only two of them in my empties there again you guys they've disappeared and then I also have the uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel oh my god my husband loved this one too you guys whenever I put this in the shower he steals it usually he has his man body washes in his shower like old spice and stuff but he actually loves this one like one day he ran out of his shower gel and he used mine this one and he just was hooked you guys he just he loves it and he, he steals it from me sometimes and uses it this one is so luxurious again this smells like summer it's like a I wouldn't say suntan lotion but it like smells like you know like a creamy summertime coconutty like there's a little coconut in this one as well but it smells very refreshing though it smells a little floral too actually I don't know what's all in it but it I know it's good ingredients because this brand puts really good ingredients it's like really moisturizing like when you you know how you get in the shower and you shower when you come out you feel squeaky clean like your skin is so dry it's not like that when you use the Sol de Janeiro body washes you guys you come out of the shower feeling like you also moisturized your skin in the shower with a moisturizer it feels very supple the skin feels supple and moisturized after these body washes I mean seriously that's the goal right to be nice and moisturized and not dry out your body as many times as I wash my body you guys twice a day every day I need a body wash that is nourishing and moisturizing like that and right now in my shower like you guys can see I don't know can you see through like I can see through here so I have about this much left of this one this is the big daddy size of that one Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower gel oh my god you guys this only becomes available at Sephora during the VIB sale and this last VIB sale I hold like two or three of these I have two more I believe in the closet up there so this is what's in the shower right now and that's all I've got left I've been using it like crazy and my husband uses it too you guys love the big daddy size and this one is the 
33.8 fluid ounce bottle this is a thousand ml so it's a liter basically so next i have my other die hard love 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 here this is the lux titan en provence you guys oh my god love this brand this is the almond shower oil so it's basically a shower gel with like almond oil in it you can actually wash your body with it but it's very moisturizing because there's almond oil in it so i've gone through one two three four of these you guys i believe i went through more than that but this is what i have in my empties bucket but i have four of those and that's not the end i have these right here so i believe i had more of these too but this is all i had in the empties bucket so this is basically the same thing you can buy in a refill, which is actually more cost effective, if you will. So since I have the bottles, what I do is I buy the refills and I fill, I keep a bottle in the shower and fill them with it. So these are the, the refill packets and they come in different uh, scents. So this one, I believe is the citrus one. It's called Vervain. So I went through one, two of the these and there is how many mils in here 500 mil 16.9 fluid ounce bags of these i went through two of the vervain and then i went through three of the almond shower oil refills so it's the same thing as this only you know it's the refill so i went through one two three of those and then i went through a whole packet of this one this one is the ultra rich shower gel you can use it as a hand wash too it's like a hand wash slash shower gel i tell you it's really moisturizing and then recently from the recent sephora vib sale i wanted to try this brand necessaire i heard so much about it it's a very clean brand one of those clean brands at sephora and I had heard so much about the body wash, their sandalwood body wash. So I bought one of those and I used it up. I liked it, but I didn't like it as much as my Sol de Janeiro or the L'Occitane. So it was good, but I'm not sure if I would repurchase. I actually had a random one. This one, I remember I ran out of my L'Occitane or something and I ran to the drugstore and bought this one um, just as a in-between thing. So this is the Sugar Crush body wash by soap and glory you guys for a drugstore brand this brand is amazing you guys i love this particular scent the sugar crush body wash there's like lime in here so invigorating refreshing and it doesn't dry out your skin if i were to recommend something from the drugstore i would really recommend soap and glory it's a really good brand i actually used up a sugar crush body scrub with this is also very invigorating it's kind of like a sugar scrub with lime in it so it's this corresponding body scrub and then i really really love these body scrubs you guys unfortunately you can't buy these here these are from Sri Lanka you guys where I was born you know I moved here when I was young but yeah and whenever my husband and I make a trip to Sri Lanka I stock up on these these are like basically sandalwood body scrubs so it's white sandalwood and red sandalwood and I believe this one is the red sandalwood one it's so good for your your skin and I used up three of those unfortunately you can't buy them here it is a brand called spa salon so salon means sri lanka so my channel salon cleo as you guys know salon means sri lanka cleopatra from sri lanka then i have a, a couple of after shower um, oils so this is my favorite one by lux satin this one is almond uh, supple skin oil. It's like an almond, you know, oil that's really nourishing. You can spray it on your skin right after you pat yourself, you know, dry and your skin's kind of still moist. That's the time to spray this one on. This makes my skin so supple, you guys, so nourished. Really, really works. And then I have two mini sizes of the shower oil there as well. Okay, now we move on to bath products. The one brand that I use always for my baths is Lush, you guys. As you guys know, Lush doesn't have like plastic packaging because it's like a 100% eco-friendly brand. It's, you know, chemical free it's 100 natural kind of brand so they don't come in like plastic packaging for me to 
kind of save the packaging. So I couldn't tell you how many thousands of lush bubble bath bars that I've gone through. I have some favorites from them. I love the lavender one that comes in a cone. I love that one. I love the little swirl cakes, like bubble bath cakes. They come in, I think, uh, magenta, kind of purple, and then there's a blue one, blue and white, and magenta and white. I love the little melts, the cocoa butter melts that you can throw in the bath. Love that, because that leaves the skin very nice and supple. They have the milky bar that you hold to the faucet when you fill up your bath, and then it like, you know, makes bubbles. I like the lavender version of it. I've bought basically every type of Lush bubble bath that there is for sale and I've narrowed in on the ones that I really really love so I repurchase them over and over again and then I have some bath salts um, empties of bath salts here and this one is I don't know how to pronounce the brand name here you guys this is like a mineral bath salt it's like a muscle soothing a juniper berry one this one and then this one is also mineral bath salt dream away valerian and hops and this one is juniper so yeah, this one is like really blue. It makes your like bath water blue and this one's white. I've gone through a few bottles of these. I only have two in my empties, I don't know why. And I really also love uh, Dr. Teal's bath salts. I've gone through hundreds of those packets. I never save those bags, you guys. They, they get thrown right away. Uh, my husband uses them too and they get thrown away. It's so good for, for your muscle relaxation like because there's magnesium in them it's really good for you. So those are all the bath and shower products and now I have body butters, body creams and body lotions next. Okay you guys when it comes to body creams, body butters, there again I have two brands you can probably guess what they are that I consistently use and see results from. I have used thousands of different body creams, body butters, body this, body that. After having used so many products and as you get older, you really start to find out what really works. So that's really what's happened with me here with my products that I buy. I have narrowed in on two brands that have really good skincare ingredients in them, you guys. And I have unscented and scented ones that I buy from these brands. However, you guys, I buy only a couple of different types of scented body creams. Not because they're scented, because they come scented. I buy them because they're good for my skin. I don't buy them because of the scent. However, I do not use them to layer my fragrances with you guys. I just uploaded a video about do's and don'ts of fragrance selection, layering, storing, and all that stuff. And in that video, I talked about how it's a bad idea to layer your fragrances with fragrance, body creams, body butters, because you guys, it changes the scent. What's the point in buying a fragrance that a perfumer went through all that trouble to create such a wonderful composition? What's the point of dropping 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars to buy that fragrance and then ruin it by layering it with some scented body cream that will not have the same scent as the the perfume that you're using. It completely changes the fragrance, you guys. Check that video out. I gave about 14 tips, you guys, so don't miss that one. I will link it up here and down in the description box. I do buy a couple of scented body creams, not because they're scented, because they come scented. So there are two brands that I consistently buy from, and these I don't layer with perfumes, rather I wear them at nighttime or during the day around the house when I'm not wearing perfume. My favorite one is Sol de Janeiro, you guys. This one right here, the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, everybody knows about this one. This is such a, an amazing body butter. It smells so heavenly. It smells like tropical scented cake butter almost. There's like a little slight coconutty hint in it. My full tub is up there. I should have brought it down so I can show you the consistency. It firms and tightens the skin. I really do think that because I see a difference. It has, I believe, like warana in it or some kind of like ingredient with caffeine in it that helps tighten skin. And this has a slight glimmer. It's not like glitter or anything like it's you can't see 
uh, sparkly shine but it leaves a beautiful sheen like when you wear put it on your legs when you apply it on your legs the when the legs catch sunlight it gleams you guys like kind of glistens do you want to guess how many I went through of these you guys less than two years this is how many of these I've gone through one two three four five six seven eight and I have a big daddy size empty nine I believe this one is eight ounces and this one's 16 I can't I, I can't remember I will put it up here when I find out so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine a big daddy size one and I have a big daddy size one open right now up in my uh, room so yeah I buy these ones these only become available during the Sephora VIB sale there's a sale on Sol de Janeiro I buy them on Sol, Sol de Janeiro but mostly I buy them from Sephora during the VIB sale because you get 20% off I'm a rouge so I get 20% off now my latest obsession from Sol de Janeiro is this one this is the Bom Dia bright cream you guys oh my god uh, this one has like AHAs and BHA like fruit acids which helps like get rid of dead skin and stuff like on your skin and gives it a nice supple glow this one smells divine you guys this one smells like like there's a fruity smell to this this smells like cake butter with a fruity smell to it like citrusy a little bit and this one is lighter than the uh, bomb bomb cream I feel like bomb bomb cream is nicer for winter time and you can even wear it in summertime really you guys and this one is really good for summer because it's a little lighter in consistency and it's really nourishing I actually applied it on my skin um, in my Sephora VIB sale haul video I think I already linked it up there this is my latest obsession as you can see I'm already through I, I just bought this from the Sephora VIB sale so yeah see I'm almost out of this one I actually went through a whole other one of these I don't know where I put it you guys it's not in my empties so this is my second one now I have to buy another one and guess where I get my other body creams from you guys of course L'Occitane so I have the L'Occitane ultra rich body cream you guys I go through these like water so this is one of them do you want to know how many I have this one lasts me a, a long long time because it's super ultra rich really thick and you only need a little dab of it this one lasts me longer than the Sol de Janeiro ones how many do you think I have of these so here's one two three and four and I have one open right now upstairs. Love these body creams. I swear by them, you guys. They are amazing. And for a fragrance-free body cream, I use Eucerin Roughness Relief Cream. This one really is like, this is an unscented one. This is what I layer my fragrances with. When I wear fragrances, I wear this first and it's really good for like dry patches on your skin. It's even good for like eczema. It's dermatologist recommended, amazing nourishing body cream i use this to layer my fragrances with you guys again check my video out i explain it a lot further in that video so i don't go through this very fast because this is really rich you guys and it lasts me a really long long time i did have one empty or two empties i don't know what i i might have thrown them out but i love this this is what i tend to layer my fragrances with and i also use unscented body oils you guys those come in these little dark like brown bottles I don't know like it I guess it doesn't resonate in my head as something that I should save because like just like you know like uh, olive oil bottles you know that come in olive oil bottles I throw them away so another thing I layer my fragrances with I prefer that actually over using a cream I use unscented body oils to layer my fragrances with like hoho butter and shea butter oils that don't have any scents in them. I have like gone through about five, six of those and apparently I didn't keep the bottles of those because they're kind of like olive oil, you know, like you don't save an olive oil bottle, you just throw it. Then I also have a random one here. This is actually called pistache. 
This one is really delicious. This is pistachio um, body oil by the brand Pistache. I think they only make like pistachio scented stuff. Oh, this one was divine, you guys. This was like a delicious pistachio smelling body cream. I believe I bought this one on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I used more than one, at least two tubs. I don't know what happened to the other one. So we're done with hair care and body care items. So now we're moving on to skincare stuff. So I think I'm going to start with like makeup removal and face wash stuff and then move on to actual like serums and moisturizers and stuff like that. The first one I want to talk about is this right here. This is an eye makeup remover by Lancome. Lancome Bifacel Double Action Eye Makeup Remover, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is the only thing that gets out really stubborn mascaras, the waterproof kinds even. The only eye makeup remover that's so gentle and it just removes everything. All I have to do is take one of my Shiseido cotton pads, put a little of this and I just press it onto my eyelid and it melts everything away. I don't have to rub so much. So this is the only thing that works you guys. Do you know how many I have? This is the biggest bottle size. This is the uh, 6.7 fluid ounce. It's a 200 ml. How many I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five of them you guys. I have tried other ones many many eye makeup removers this is how i know this is the only one that works and people love this one right here this is the oil free eye makeup remover neutrogena people love this thing but you guys this one puts this away this wasn't as good as my trusty lancome by facil this one doesn't work as well as that one i have tried this one obviously i went through a whole bottle i tried it out I've tried out many, many, many other eye makeup removers, you guys, and this one is the only thing that works for me. I always stock up on this, the big size, during the Sephora VIB sale, or if Lancome has a sale, I stock up on those. So for face washes, you guys, I try so many different types of face washes. I have one here by the PCA Skin. This is a facial wash. Um, this worked very well. I believe this had like 2% salicylic acid, which is really good to keep your skin like blemish free and everything worked really well but for some reason when it comes to face wash i can't commit to one you guys like as you can see i know what i want when it comes to my products and i consistently use the same ones after having tried thousands of products but when it comes to face washes i haven't found one that's like hit me all over the head like this is the one yeah you know i don't stay with one face wash when it comes to face washes and this is another one Bosha uh, detoxifying black cleanser and this one kind of went bad and got gunky you guys there's about that much left so I had to throw it out this one was okay and I didn't see like a huge like groundbreaking difference and this one is revision brightening face wash it's like another dermatologist recommended brand really nice and brightening I actually really really love this one again but I don't commit to anything when it comes to face wash and then I went through this one, like don't even know the brand, it's kind of disappeared. Uh, the Hyper Brightening Cleansing Foam, it says. This is like a Korean brand. Uh, the name has disappeared. I think I bought this from like Korean beauty um, products retailer. Yeah, I went through the whole thing again, you know, nothing groundbreaking. And then I have this one right here. This one is kind of a, a, a polish, like a enzyme powder that kind of can work as a face wash slash exfoliant this is tatcha the deep polish it's like a powder you put a little water with it and you wash your face with it so it's like two in one like it can be a face wash slash your exfoliant yeah it's it's nice this is for oily skin it, it's great but there again i don't feel like committing to that and then i went through this whole bottle of this one right here this is philosophy purity face wash this is great for like a double cleansing thing on days where you wear makeup after using your balm cleanser to take your makeup off this one takes off makeup like any last residues of makeup better than any other face cleanser so this is why i like this one again i don't feel like committing to one though um when it comes to face wash i don't know why 
So those are the face washes that I went through. And then I have here some makeup melting balms. So my ride or die after having tried so many, and you will see what else I have tried in the last two years, almost two years. So the one I love the most is right here, this Illumis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Oh my God, you guys, this is so like, it's thick and it's kind of like a golden um, balm. And it just, you only need a very little of it and it melts everything like waterproof makeup. If there's any left that my Lancome Bifacil didn't take away. But this takes away, like if I, let's say, didn't have any Lancome Bifacil eye makeup remover, I can just use this. It does a really good job. This is the one that takes away my makeup, takes off all my makeup without one bit left. This is the only one that works so well that anything else that I've tried. So I've settled on this one. This is my ride or die. And I have one, two, and three that I went through in the last almost two years. And I have another one that's almost out already. So this is the regular one. And then one I have up there is the rose and scented one, almost out of that one as well. And I did try other ones. This is my next favorite. This one really works well too. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean. And I've gone through, I don't know what happened to the rest of these jars. I had about four or five of these that were in empties that have disappeared. I don't know. I've gone through more than the, this. I, I know I have. Like, had about three or four in the empties bin. I, again, things disappear from that bin, you guys, after getting kicked around for two years almost. So yeah, this one uh, works really well as well. I'm not as big of a fan of this as I am the Elemis, and that's like my ride or die. This one is my next favorite, works really well as well. And this one I tried recently, um, just to kind of see, you know, like sometimes when you love something, you get stuck with it and you are like get so, you know, closed in on it and you don't try anything else. So I forced myself to try other products, you know, to make sure that that is still the ride or die. So I recently tried this one. This is the Drunk Elephant Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. Drunk Elephant brand is a really good brand, you guys. And I will show you some of the products that I love from the brand. But this one did not work well for me. It didn't take away, take off all of the last bits of the residue. Like it didn't, you know, like Elemis takes away everything. There's nothing left. Whereas this I felt like left some residue. It didn't work as well as the Elemis one. So it's not a love. I won't be repurchasing that one. And then I went through a whole one of these, a more specific treatment cleansing oil. Again, this one you can use instead of a balm. This one is an oil. This worked really well too, by the way. Really like it. I believe this is a Korean brand if I'm not mistaken. And then I have an empty of this Bioderma Micellar Water. I use the Micellar Water sometimes, you guys, when I feel like there's some residue left after using my balm cleanser, which with Elemis, I never have to use this actually. Whenever I use Elemis, I don't use this. But there was a time in my life where I was using three steps. Like I would use my balm cleanser, then I would take a cotton pad, put a little bit of the micellar water, and then take any residue left on the face off, and then use a clarifying or cleansing face wash to take the, the rest of it off. So three step cleansing process really. But I don't use this as much, but this come in handy like sometimes, like if you messed up your makeup a little bit to put cotton swab and like erase that. Let's say you're not wearing that much makeup, you're just wearing a little bit of sunscreen, I use this one to take that off. Or if you're just wearing like a BB cream, sometimes I would t use this to take it off. So I really like this, it really works really well. And then I also had this one, this is the Glow Recipe Papaya sorbet enzymes cleansing balm and i was really excited for this one because glow recipe is a really good brand and it said papaya enzyme i know papaya enzyme is super awesome like it you know like eats away basically dead skin so i was really excited oh two in one i can have like all the dull dead skin come off with the makeup you know so this is amazing and i tried it it's not great it's not that great it wasn't anything special 
No, it didn't help take the dry skin away the way I expected it to. It's all right, it wasn't bad, but it still left some makeup residue. Again, nothing comes close to the LMS. So then I have a bunch of serums that I use. My vitamin C serum that I love, 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 and I continue to use. You guys know you need a vitamin C serum in your skincare routine during the day and nighttime, like daytime skincare routine and nighttime skincare routine. You guys, you need to use a vitamin C serum. So this is the one that I like so much that I go through so many. I have a couple of brands that I use, I will show you. Please let me know down in the comment section if you guys would like to see a skincare routine from me. I would be happy to do that. So yeah, the vitamin C serum I consistently use is this one right here. This is by Drunk Elephant. This is the C Pharma Day Serum. And this one has this twist cap that twists up you guys every time there's a sephora sale i buy this or if drunk elephant has a sale yeah i stock up on these and i go through so many of this a year the reason why i like this is because this is one of the best vitamin c serums because of the packaging you know vitamin c doesn't stay stable like in the liquid form which is when it's most effective because you know the slightest little bit of light can completely break down the vitamin c solution so this one, you know, the packaging is really thick, sunlight can't get into it. So I would assume that this really preserves the vitamin C in it because it really works. I can see a difference in my skin when I use this. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. In the last almost two years, I've gone through six of these. I have another one open right now up in my vanity. So yeah, this one I tend to use in my morning skincare routine. And there's another one I will show you that I like to use at nighttime. The other one I like to use at nighttime is this SkinCeutical CE Ferulic Serum. This one, I it's like a high potency uh, antioxidant treatment. It has l acid, which is really good even more than like vitamin C. And it has ferulic acid. I use this one at nighttime. So I went through a whole bottle of that. And I've also tried the Obagi Professional Vitamin C Serum right here, a whole bottle of that. But the problem with these, like, these bottles i don't know i know they're dark but i don't know if they keep the serum that stable over time and yeah i went through two of these ce ferulic acids and then one of the obaji ones and then i've also tried this oz naturals the origin i think the brand and then i've used this the keels powerful strength line reducing concentrate i think this has vitamin c in it too this was a serum that i was using at night time for a while and then i have this one right here the ola hendrickson banana bright vitamin c serum that i was using this one this comes as a uh, more like it's not really a serum but m more like a very like liquidy lotion type consistency it's kind of yellow vitamin c stays a little bit more stable in like creams and uh, thicker forms so this probably keeps it stable but it's not going to be as absorbent as the liquid form so this was okay it wasn't great and then i have um some other serums here that i use this one is the glycolic night serum it's like a glycolic acid serum. It doesn't work that well for me because glycolic acid, I think, isn't like strong enough for my skin. It's good, but it wasn't like groundbreaking. This one, however, I really like. This is the Ren Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. It's actually a glycolic and lactic acid mask. This one brightens up the skin so much, you guys. You can see the difference. You put it on and leave it on for like 10 minutes, I think, and rinse it off. It works really well, and I have two of them that I went through. And then I have some other serums that I went through. They were okay. Nothing really stood out to me. This one is Barbara Stern's Anti-Pollution Drops. This is supposed to be really good for like dark skin something about it yada yada and i used it it wasn't groundbreaking you guys used it up i heard someone say a lot of good things about it and i bought it and i read up on barbara Strom stuff and that was one of her most popular ones it didn't do much of anything that's noticeable then i went through this one this one is acai prickly pear goji superberry hydrate and glow oil 
This is by U2 The People brand, which is a really good skincare brand. This one is like a facial oil that you put on. I usually mix it in with my uh, moisturizer or use it after putting the moisturizer on. This one's really good. I really like it. It didn't give me clogged pores or it didn't give me blemishes. You know, some oils can clog your pores and give you like blemishes, acne and stuff. This one actually, this is like antioxidant rich facial oil, really like that one. Then I went through two of the Sunday Riley facial oils, you guys. This one is the UFO facial oil. This one's supposed to be good for like acne prone skin, I believe. Um, it was okay, it wasn't like groundbreaking. I mean, it, it, it was okay, I guess. And same with this one, the Luna um, facial oil. This one has like, see, I didn't even finish this one, see? This one wasn't all that great and I believe this one's supposed to have like retin-A or retinol or something. It wasn't that great, you know, I didn't even finish the bottle. Then I went through a whole bottle of this Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. It's like a white creamy looking serum. It's supposed to be brightening. It was alright, like I think it, it worked. It was kind of brightening but it wasn't like groundbreaking or anything so I went through the whole bottle. I didn't really purchase. So then I have this one, uh, the Pharmacy Very Cherry Bright Vitamin C Serum. This is like 15% vitamin C. It wasn't as good as my Drunk Elephant one or the CE Ferulic Acid. And then I have right here the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. This one is a lactic acid serum. This one does work. This one's really good, especially if you are like pregnant or breastfeeding. Again, check with your doctor, you guys. Don't listen to me. You need to talk to your doctor if you're pregnant or breastfeeding before you use products, no matter what the products say or whatever I say, check with your doctor before using. So that's a disclaimer. I had heard that this was safe for breastfeeding moms, pregnant moms to use. So this is the one that I kind of rarely use during the time I was breastfeeding and all that. I wasn't able to use glycolic or any of those stronger acids. Um, however, lactic acid is, is safe, apparently. So this is what I use and this really does work. It really makes a difference on the skin, takes away texture and all that. So next I have this Good Molecules Niacinamide uh, Brightening Toner. Niacinamide is really good for like minimizing your facial pores, you guys. It's really good for that. So this one is really good like for a toner if you have large pores and stuff. Smooths out the skin. This one was a good one. And then I have went through this one right here, the, the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. This one is like, you know, you put it on and it kind of peels off. Um, it, it was all right. It, it didn't do something that great to my skin. And this is very popular, by the way. Yeah, it has 25% AHAs and 2% BHA acids in here. It's an acid exfoliant, basically. It worked, but it wasn't like you know, super amazing or anything. So I went through a whole bottle of that. Next I went through this entire bottle of the Hadalabo Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This one is a Korean brand. Most of the writing, all of it basically is in Korean. It's Hadalabo is a Korean brand, Korean skincare brands are amazing. This one is a good um, hyaluronic acid serum. I went through a whole bottle of that. I usually use my hyaluronic acid serum, you know, in my skincare routine at nighttime. I usually do it after my vitamin C serum. Then I have this Dr. Dennis Gross um, PL Dark Spot Correcting Serum. I think somebody recommended this for like under eye dark circles. I don't think it worked that well you guys. I feel like I can get something that works even better so I didn't purchase the full bottle of it. And these are basically acne products you guys like that time of the month when you get like that one pimple or whatever these come in handy. So this little tiny fella here is the Origin Super Spot Remover. It's actually an acne treatment gel so you can spot treat it like if you have a little you know pimple during that time of the month you can put some of this on and the next day it'll be like receding and it really works i like that one and then this one is different gel everybody knows what this is dermatologists recommend this also for acne went through a whole tube of that and i haven't been able to use products like that in a while because when i was pregnant with my son and I was breastfeeding, I couldn't use those type of products, so this was right before that. I, then I have a bunch more, you guys. I have like 
more of the moisturizers and then there is uh, face masks and stuff to talk about next. So let's start with the moisturizers, I guess. So one moisturizer that I really, really like that I went through several tubs of is this one right here. This is the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This one right here, you guys. This is like um, a really nice, not heavy moisturizer. It's very, very hydrating. It's like a splash of water on your face. And it's almost like gel-like. I know it says like true cream, but it's not a very cream consistency. There's a lightness to the to the consistency. It's very kind of almost like a gel, but it's not a not really a gel, but it's on the lighter side. It's kind of a cross between a gel moisturizer and a cream moisturizer. Really love this. If, if you are acne prone and you don't want any moisturizer that clogs up your pores, this is the one for you. It's like a bucket of water on your face, you guys. So I went through three of these. So there's one, two, and three. So obviously I like it. And then I also like this one by Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This one is has like peptides in it. It's really good for your skin. And the thing I love about it also, like the dispenser is like this, like you squeeze it down and it comes out. It's not a tub like this one. The only problem with this is that you have to dip your fingers to it to get the product. I'm not a fan of that, you guys. I really like the packaging of this. You can keep it nice and hygienic. So it just, you know, you squeeze it and a little bit squirts out and you take that so it doesn't, you don't contaminate the rest of the, the cream in there. I went through a, a few of these. I believe I had about three, but I only see two of the tubs. So I went through apparently two of these. Now those two are really good. I could settle for one of those. I keep wanting to explore to see if there's something that works even better, you know? Then I went through like this one, the Clinique Moisture Surge, which is what I right now have up and on my vanity that I'm using during the day uh, for my morning routine. A big huge tub of this is up on my vanity. It's like a light uh, sort of blush colored gel cream. I tend to like using gel moisturizers you guys because I can get acne if I'm not careful. Like if I don't use something that's a little lighter when it comes to moisturizers, they clog my pores. I don't like it so I tend to lean towards lighter like even this polypeptide one is very light. So I had two of these Clinique Moisture Surge once and then I have this LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream which is also very light, a beautiful moisturizer. Again, this one also has a gel consistency. And then I have this um, Quarterly Vino Perfect. You know how I had the serum, the, the moisturizer version, I went through a whole. This one it was a little bit thicker but it somehow didn't give me acne. It's something about it was not very like oily at all like it was it was good so then i went through this one this is also quarterly this is uh vino source it's a hydration intense uh moisturizing cream it was hydrating and i think these two are pretty much about the same kind of results they are good again i don't know if it jumped out at me as something that i want to make the ride or die one. None of these are bad. These are all amazing moisturizers. I do my research, you guys, when I buy products. And then I have this one by Origins Clear Improvement Pore Clearing Moisturizer. Again, you know, I look for moisturizers that don't clog my pores, and this one's supposed to actually keep the pores clean. Did it do that? I couldn't tell you. It, I mean, it didn't give me acne. It did a good job moisturizing, but Again, I don't know you guys if it made like a groundbreaking difference. PCA is a brand that dermatologists keep in their, you know, offices. They sell them sometimes and like, and then estheticians, they carry this line like spas and stuff. So this one is the collagen hydrator, a moisturizer again, collagen, pro collagen one, there's collagen in it. Again, worked well. I couldn't tell if it was something that was worth making a ride or die moisturizer. I'm very picky, you guys, when it comes to facial moisturizers. I still haven't found one that was, that won my heart like, oh yes, oh yes, you know, not yet. 
And then I have this one also image um, skincare line vital C hydrating repair um, cream. This is like a vitamin C moisturizer by image, which is also a brand that um, those spas and dermatologists carry worked well again, you know, nice vitamin C enriched moisturizer. I couldn't tell you if it jumped out at me. And then I went through a whole um, tub of this one, this um, Youth to the People Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. Again, very good. There again, I don't know if it did anything that great. It was very light, you know, almost light gel leaning texture, cream gel combo kind of texture, not thick at all. It was really nice, but again, I don't know if it like made a groundbreaking difference. Then I have face masks, like nighttime masks that I like to use. Uh, so this one is by Sicily Paris, you guys, you know what Sicily is. This is a moisturizing face mask that you can, you know, put on top of everything at nighttime and go to sleep in. So this is like, this is, this is by Sicily, you know, Sicily is a very expensive brand and they have great skincare. I really like this one. This one is the Black Rose, uh, yeah, skin infusion cream. I like this one and it has the um, this version in a in a tube, which is also like a, a black rose cream mask. They, these are kind of similar. This one is like more like a gel consistency. This one and this one is a little bit more like a, a slightly thicker lotion. They both work really well. Whenever I put this on and I go to sleep and wake up in the morning, my skin looks very moisturized, supple. I see a difference with this one. These these really do work. I, I really like them, but they're super expensive. And then I have this Herbivore Blue Tansy face mask. This is supposed to have like, you know, um, enzymes, like fruit en enzymes in it, and it's supposed to eat away the dead skin and stuff. I think it worked. Um, again, I don't know if it's like something that's super like, you know, innovative or anything. And then this one is the Lotus Youth Preserve uh, Rescue Mask by Fresh, the brand Fresh. It's a seaweed radiance, like facial. This one is Lancer caviar lime acid peel by the way this works really well too this is actually a, a gentle acid peel like it's an exfoliant so you can apply it and then you can wash it off i believe after 10 or 20 minutes i don't know this has like um, phytic acid on 10 percent of it and then it has retinol in it so this one has retinol you guys don't use retinol products if you're breastfeeding or pregnant so I couldn't use this during the time I was pregnant with my son and breastfeeding. That works though. That's a good acid pill and you can, it's not very harsh. It's not like spa grade or anything, but you know, it does a gentle exfoliation. If you don't want those harsher, like a little bit stronger acid peels from an actual spa or a dermatologist, then that's a good option. And then I have this um, Glam Glow, you know, the brand Glam Glow, you guys, this mud mask. They're good, I mean, they work. I mean, they're not like super amazing. This is like the charcoal mask that, you know, pulls out all the dirt from the pores. It worked, I like it. I mean, it's nothing like amazing or earth shattering, but it's it works. And this one's really fun, you guys. This is Glam Glow. This one is fun, you guys. This is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, I really like this. This is the one that's really fun. It looks like Tin Man when you put it on. It like dries into like a sheet and you can peel it off. This actually like is an amazing mask right before applying makeup like if you have like special occasion if you want like an instant like pick me up for your skin for your face this is a really good one i think it's really fun at least you look really cool while wearing it then i went to a, through a whole tube of purity made simple pore extractor right here it, it was good i mean it's it's supposed to like minimize your pores and i think actually it did that um, I might repurchase that one actually. I kind of like that one. So last items I have are the eye masks, lip masks, and sunscreen. Very few of those actually. I will quickly go through it, I promise. So I have the eye creams, you guys, um, right here. This one is Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This was okay, it wasn't great. Um, it didn't take away my dark circles on nights that I didn't have sleep. Very few things actually accomplished that. 
um, it was okay it, it hydrated my under eyes but it wasn't like that great and this one is youth to people dream eye cream it's supposed to like be soothing and hydrating and firming type of eye cream again great uh, it did make my skin look supple but it wouldn't wouldn't do anything with my under eye like darkness at all so I needed something for that which is why I bought this this is the Kiehl's powerful strength line reducing and dark circle correcting or diminishing vitamin C eye uh, serum this is what I'm using right now it does work it really really does work it helps reduce the darkness but it doesn't take it away completely so it, yeah that one works and I have repurchased it I have another one up in my box there in my skincare box and then I have this one by Glam Glow. This is Bright Eyes Eye Cream. Not amazing. I don't remember it doing that great. And then I went through a whole thing of Tatcha, the Silk Peony Eye Cream. This one was more of a kind of a waxy consistency. Uh, it was nice actually for morning time, especially before wearing makeup because it doesn't disrupt the makeup when you wear this under the eye for that reason this is very good and it did work to keep my under eyes line free and supple doesn't do anything for dark circles by the way that was good i like it i might repurchase that one and this one is lancer eye uh, contour lifting cream this is supposed to be like lifting and everything I don't think it did much of all that um, it was good it wasn't like great and then i have sunscreens here you guys i have three of them that i went through so this is the one i really like the most this one is elta md uv clear broad spectrum spf 46 this is something i wear on the face works super 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 well love it this one is niogen or neogen and it's like a, i think like a korean brand this one is daylight protection sunscreen this is spf 50 um p a plus 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 which is what you want you want spf 50 p a plus 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 that's what this is this one i believe is not a um this one is a chemical sunscreen i think i'm not a huge fan of chemical sunscreens you guys it's not as good and it absorbs into the skin which is a little scary I prefer the mineral ones or the um, the physical ones so um, I didn't repurchase it for that reason and then I have this one right here La Roche Posay 60 um, Anthelios 60 cooling water lotion sunscreen this is something you can wear on the face and body the the La Roche Posay ones are very good sunscreens um i really like that you can wear it on your body it does a really good job keeping your face from like burning skin from burning and then i had this eye uh, mask or eye patches by pathology um it's like restorative like night eye gel patches i like to they're very cooling you guys especially if you feel puffy under your eyes i which i never really get and you feel tired under your eyes, you put a couple of these pipe eye gel patches and you take a bath, you know, with them on or like lie down with it for a while. Then your skin feels, under your eyes feel really like supple and hydrated. Really love that I went through whole thing and I have another jar up in my skincare box there. And you guys, I forgot to mention this. This is the Shiseido facial cotton pads. Oh my God, there's like a hundred and... 60 in one of these uh, these are like like 12 dollars they seem expensive but they're not you guys when you actually calculate the cost of one cotton pad it's like there's like 160 in here so it's really not that bad and these are the only cotton pads that don't shed don't leave little cotton residue on my face it's amazing i only need one of these for the whole face because they're quite sizable about this big i don't actually have one to show you but i only have one of these bags in my empties you guys because i had been throwing them i probably went through like 20 or 30 of these honestly 
but one day I realized, oh my God, I've been throwing it because it's really easy to throw this because it doesn't seem like something you need to keep, you know? But I've gone through like, I'm toured 10, 20 of these, like really good cotton pads, the only kind of cotton pads I would use on my face. And then I went through this um, deodorant, you guys. I wanted to try a natural deodorant without any like aluminum or anything. This is the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity deodorant without any like aluminum in it. And it has like these four holes and you twist it up, it comes out and there's like a very faint almondy kind of scent to it but it's very faint i like to wear deodorants that don't have a huge like super projecting kind of scent in it because it clashes with my perfume the scent of the day it did a really good job of keeping my underarms clean it really worked but right now i'm trying something else um so i don't know if i'm repurchasing that quite yet i'm testing another one right now so We'll see, I might repurchase it. Last I have these lip masks by Laneige, you guys. This is what I use at nighttime. It was working well until recently I found them to be not working well. I feel like it's because of the of the actual scent, uh, actual type. I feel like the original lip sleeping mask, which is like pink, not this one. That one works really well. I feel like this one is like the bubble gum one and this one is like lime. I feel like these two for some reason don't work as well. It's crazy, I know it's just like a flavor difference, but there's something different. These are not keeping my lips as hydrated as the original. I, I don't know what's up with that if I'm imagining it. So I'm actually on the market looking for a lip mask that works better than that. If you guys know one that works better than that one, please let me know in the comment section. So yeah guys, that's it. That's all my skincare, body care, and hair care products that I've used up in the last almost two years. Yeah, you guys, that's a lot of products, but that's what it takes, you know, for almost two years that I, that's what I've gone through and i'm a skincare hair care body care junkie obviously you guys but i love finding discovering really amazing products and trying them out and when they really get results that's a really thrilling discovery i love to try different products and then i hone in on those ones that i know really work and then i make them my ride or die and i use them over and over again Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. I love these type of videos. I love watching empties videos. It's one of my favorite type of videos. The other kind I like are favorites videos. I love those as well. Please let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see more of these empties videos and uh, if you guys want to see favorites videos. Also, you guys, I am going to do the part two of this video of my makeup empties, which I have over there that I didn't want to put that in this video because it'll be like a million years long, you guys. So I'll do part two of this with my makeup empties. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell so YouTube can notify you every time I upload. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, you guys. Like I said, I make announcements there, like giveaway announcements and stuff. And there are some really exciting posts coming up on Instagram, so stay tuned, you guys. I cannot wait to bring you new kind of content. I have a few videos coming up that are completely different type of new type of videos that I haven't done before. So please stay tuned, you guys. Ring that notification bell so you will know when I upload. I will see you guys in my next video.